this very beautiful morning. Too bad I have to deal with this today. So, welcome to finish November. This is my project for now. And I just screwed up the time lapse shooting of taking out that roof tiles. But let's check it out a little. It's built on 40s somewhere, maybe 1945. It has been a cottage for housing. I think it's slightly older than our current house over there. According to papers we have, there has been rentals, maybe 70s last time. After that it, it has been abandoned. But now we're making a sauna. What I have done now, I have rebricked the, the chimney. It took three weekends to make that. And now I just this morning took out the roof tiles which can be found over there. So this is the sauna part. There's going to be a wall here and the sauna is on that side and this side is the dressing room. And on the other side of the chimney there will be a small, small room for coach or guest room, whatever. I have taken out the roof. There was some leaks on the roof and you can see how it has rotten the beam over there. I have to do something about that. But basically the works work here is quite simple. Just put the floor on, the wall over here and roof and it's quite ready that way. I'm not going to put anything over those logs. These logs are very old. They have been old when the building has been built. Maybe they're maybe at least from 19th century, maybe older. I don't know. They're be they're handmade. As you can see there are X marks. Here you can see the chimney. It had been taken apart maybe under that ceiling height. I took it apart a little more so I could adjust the chimney pipes, whatever they are, a little better. Now I have two chimneys for the kiwas, the stove of the sauna and the water heater. This is one thing we did a few years ago already. We replaced one log under the, under here. Actually, there was no log at all. It had been removed because the ground has risen up so much. It had rotten up the rotten up the log down there. But now there's new industrial-made log, and it should last for many decades now. You might wonder why I decided to replace the roof tiles. Well, here is a picture of the original roof. It's quite nice looking, but it's broken here and there and it leaked a little. Maybe I could just could replace some tiles, but the problem is that these tiles are very old and they are quite fragile. So I actually hadn't visited the roof because I, I was afraid that they were broken under my weight. So better to replace them. And another thing is that there was no secondary secondary roof layer especially when this is going to be a sauna. There's going to be a lot of moisture in the air. And in winter time, if the roof is cold, the moisture 
will leak somewhere up there. If there's a cold roof, just up there, <coughs> the moisture will condensate on that. Here's the cottage from the other side. Well, now I think I'll have to get on work. There's a lot of do doing this weekend. My father is going to help me, but still, I have to put the secondary roofing today and the metal sheets, which are originally from the, our house from there. We're reusing them on this. They're not very beautiful, but well, maybe I'll paint them later. So, I'll put this camera on the time-lapse mode inside there. There's a so-called uh, battery won't last very long if I put it outside. Maybe I'll... you'll see some time-lapse now. <laughs> Yesterday we got the secondary roofing in place. <clears throat> now we need to just add one piece on, on top there. After that we just put some screws on just to make sure that wind doesn't get our roof with it. Then we get those metal sheets, saw them a little, and put them on place. Maybe I'll put this inside again. yesterday. I didn't have the time to shoot the video last night but here we go. Of course there's still plenty to do on the roof. Now the roof holds water and snow so wind can come. But this was the first video. Next time I will be doing things inside there. Thanks for watching.